So again, back on the 100% grind, just as the title says. Um, I need I need a fucking dark magic user. Because there's so much stuff that we just can't do at the moment because we don't have dark magic. Okay, this one says the easiest character that Dark Magic user to get comes in the Aragog fight in year two. Which would be, presumably, this level. So let's free play it. Oh, that's cool. It tells you, like, the characters you can get from each level. So, like, what, three from each level? So we'll just free play it. And see... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. See who we can get. Um, help I turn my extras on. Score. We got so many of the score times last stream, which is pretty nice. Got something over here. Mm, oh, that's cool. That does mean I need to remember to use the... Alright, well we need to... You're not even, you can't even do damage to me, you're just irritating. Yeah, get rid of it. Okay, well, we've got plenty of money. I remember how to get up there, though. Hey. Like this. Exactly like that. Question is, do I even need to get the characters or can I just do everything myself and the characters will eventually teleport to me? I mean, I don't think they can teleport to me, but I think I can just do everything myself and then when I reach like the next section or something, they'll appear next to me. I'm pretty sure, anyway. I don't think there's anything that requires... Uh, yeah, unless there is anything that does require... Who is that? Oh, yeah, I forgot it doesn't tell you character names in this game. Up. Ah. Okay, well, we have something here. Question is, I, it automatically gave me Victor. No, no, like, differences with him. Oh, shit. Race? A race. That was nice and easy. I think. <laughs> yeah, it was nice and easy. Um, obviously, seeing as we're redoing this level for the sake of getting a um, a dark magic wheel, that I'm gonna try. <coughs> gonna try and get the crests um, as well because we might as well. There'll be two tokens, and then we've got another two crests left to get. So one of them was going to be... One of them is going to be these, unless I've really done that one. There's a dark magic thing there. But there's no arrows pointing to it, and I have... I believe I have character token detector... Don't I only have Hogwarts Crest Detector? That's annoying. So that there could be something to do with the character token. Fucking pixie tonight. 
Feck off, you feathered feckin' idiots. Oh. Well, thanks for that, guys. You couldn't have just turned into a ladder over there. You had to be extra about it. Yeah, I don't know what that dark magic this is going to be, because there's no arrows pointing at it, so it clearly hasn't just got a character token in it, unless it unless that's what the, um, well, I haven't got a character token detector, so it might just have the character token in it. But that feels way too easy. So I don't know. But also, as soon as we have this dark magic character, I'm going to kind of piss off. I'm going to make um, my goal to get the rest of the red bricks. And then we'll wor uh, worry about completing. Do I have to deal with these fucking pixies? Um, the rest of the missions, because I just think having the rest of the... Oh, I did have to kill them. The rest of the red bricks will mean completing the missions are like just that bit easier. Because we'll have things like fast build, fast magic. A sheet. I see a reducto. You bitch. Hey! It's what's his face, Lucius. Ah, fuck it. Oh wait, I have to... I don't remember. This way, and then press and hold B again to spin it. And throw it. Oh, do I have to like, point in the direction I want to throw it? So that's another... Well, that's the other crest over there, is that the ball. We need the, um... Can we do... We can't do save and exit, thank god for that. Because I can't get the rest of the stuff until we've got the character. So let's go by Lucius. Leaky Cauldron or Hogwarts? Leaky Cauldron. Cool. Alright, we'll go by Lucius because that gives us our first dark magic character, finally. And then we'll just redo. I don't know, I'm not even going to bother redoing that mission right now. I'm just going to go straight to Hogwarts and do all the stuff I couldn't do before. Where are you, Lucius? Get there in the end, I'm sure. There he is, 155-ish, I think he was. Right, let's turn into him, because I want to see if he has, like, a specific spell for dark magic, or if that just, like, he can just use it. He doesn't, so I presume he can just use it. Oh, he has Imperio, or Avada Kedavra, that probably is, actually. Holy shit, it is. That looks like Crucio. And then... There doesn't look like there's a spell for Imperio. So he's got Crucio and... Avada Kedavra, which is cool. Well, no, murder's not great, but... You know, the fact that he has dark magic is cool. Let's... Go and transform into him. And find something that requires dark magic. Go around and murder people in the schools. It's great. 
Uh, actually, it was quite fun, to be fair. Hey, welcome to the stream. Um, I don't remember where any of the dark magic stuff was. I just remember there being lots of stuff I couldn't do. Maybe over here. Oh wait, there was something in one of the classrooms, and there's that up there as well. So we'll go deal with that. Gives us a character. Millicent Bulstrode. Is it this classroom? Yes. Wait, it wouldn't let me target it for some reason. Where was the owl? There he is. Hopefully, this is character token detector, and that'll be all of the be detectors. No, it's not. It's fast magic. Still useful though. I'll go get it in a moment. And then there was something in the other classroom as well, I think. I remember, like, Ginny being trapped somewhere. Or, like, Ginny's, um, character thing. Here. Yeah, there we go. Anything else in there? Nope. Was there anything in here that required dark magic? Not that I remember, but just check anyway. No. How many characters do we have left to get? About a hundred. I was hoping it was a little less than that, but fine. Anything in here? Apparently. Through here? Okay. Well, I don't remember ever being in here. There's a gold brick up there. There's an owl as well. So it needs to be Hufflepuff for that. And there's the Polyjuice Potion. I'm not going to change Lucius because he's our dark magic user. So we'll get rid of Ron. Hufflepuff will do. around if there's anything else. So this must go... Oh, I get it. It's like, there's three locks and then... So where is the other... One of them will be in here. Hat, stars, moon, potion. And then the last one. The only thing I can see is doing something with these, maybe. Yeah. Oh wait, there's it's up there. How do I get it? Like that, I suppose. Oh, shit. We need a goblin as well. Okay, I'm going to remember that's there. And I'm going to assume that the f this level gets us a goblin. It does. So let's free play this. It will give us Lucius. Because it gives you one character from every... Like, for each ability. So we'll free play this. Let's see if we can figure anything out in here. 
And if not, then that's Tree Wizard at least. Oh, sorry, mate. I think I already got that one, didn't I? Oh. How do I get it there? And how can I play as you? Oh, I must be able to play as him because... Oh. I could have gotten that in the first time I played this level if I'd actually, like... Use my brain a little bit. I need you to lift me, love. I'll lift myself, that's fine. Yeah, because I remember trying to get that. Uh, the crest piece. And I wasn't able to the first time. Because I was like, oh, I must need a character that can double jump or something. I just didn't even, like think to try and mess with things around me. Oh, I did that one before. I need carriage soap and detector because I'm, like, messing with everything. Oh, hello. Huh. <laughs> Um, like a Harry, <coughs> Harry Potter's just crash. Damn. Okay. Well, that's that is the first time that's happened. Okay. Um, this is an opportunity to look at the wiki and see. Character. Why am I typing in A's with accents? There we go. Token. Detector. Like a Harry Potter one to four. We need the goblin. So I'm going to have to do this level one. Character token protector and hope I can figure out where grip. Look. I think it's grip look anyway. Is. Try and do this quickly so that it doesn't absolutely destroy your eardrums. Alright, I suppose we start again. And hope it doesn't break again. You're in the way, love. I imagine the token for Grip Hook will be in... Oh, bugger. Will be in the... Uh, being Gringotts somewhere. I think that would make most sense. You gonna lift the plat? I don't get why the AI is not lifting the platform. Because I've just got a. Okay, there we go. Weird. Um, I've got to turn all the extras on again. Fine, it's not like it's taking much to get True Wizard at this point. That's weird, it changes my character, so I go from playing as Hermione to, like, whoever you're playing as, you change from them to Harry every time. I can't imagine it's going to be as, like, just 
using um, Wingardium Leviosa on an object because that's far too simple. And I could have done that as Hagrid the first time I played the mission. So it must be something a little bit more complex than that. Oh, I do just want to have a quick check because it's occurred to me that there are three character tokens to get. I've got none of them. And surely they can't all be in Gringotts. Maybe one of them's like Ollivander or something. And you find it by going into like. Oh, and there's the student in peril. Come on. Why isn't it working? Oh, wait. Do I need to go up? Okay, I I was like, oh, surely I I don't need to go up. It'll be like a, I'm raising the platform so he can climb down. But no, he just jumped off the building because I gave him the confidence to do so. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to build this. I'm just getting loads of money now. Okay, I'm fairly confident that there is nothing around here. Except this. This looks dodgy. I feel like this is something. But I definitely can't do anything with that. It just looks dodgy. Alright, fuck it. Go into Hogwarts. Not Hogwarts. Gringotts. The other one. I don't know why there's an arrow pointing there. It's odd. Aha! To get something out. But they haven't got arrows on them, so. Maybe that's a character token. After this, I really have got a character that can then do everything. We are finally finished once I've completed or gotten the characters for this mission. I've also just thought about it. Do you think you get Professor Quirrell from this mission as well? I've missed one of the lamps. There it is. Oh, I did that before? You're taking the piss, mate. I was like, oh, I'm so smart. I figured this out. It's definitely going to be... This is... I'm certain this is going to be how you unlock Ripbook. And then I was dumb, and it turns out it was just... Um, a crest that I've already gotten. Alright, fine. Well, got that as well now. There's a... Okay, well, we need to continue through here. Nicely, it already gives us grip hooks. So we can just do that ourselves. Continue on through. Get that out of the way. Bonk, and it's not Griphook. It's Tom the Innkeeper, which means I have to go and find Griphook somewhere else. Perhaps in here. And it's Mr. Ollivander, which means I've got to find Griphook. But if I do find Griphook, at least that means I've completed. No, not quite. 
I need to find Grip Hook and the last Ujima Flippy. Uh, the last crest, and then we've completed um, this mission for good. Continue with the mission. And it changes me back. I had my character set up perfectly, thank you. Right. Surely this is Grip Book here. There we go. So that's all four. Or all three characters, rather. Now I need to find... The last crest, which I may have missed, because... I swear this is the last room and I've not got like a... I've not got an arrow in here. What am I doing? Why am I trying to use Hagrid for that? Let me just fuck with everything and just make entirely certain that there is nothing in there. Mate, you fucked that one up, didn't you? Okay, well... There doesn't seem to be anything in this general area that I can... like mess with any more than I already have so I suppose we just continue the mission oh there is more okay in here nope that's finished the mission so where was the last one then I need the Ravenclaw house crest, and I've missed it somewhere. Oh well, I'll go back in the future. Can't be asked right now. Just gonna go buy grip hook and fast magic. I guess we might as well buy Mr. Ollivander and the innkeeper as well while we're there. See, I think completing everything in the castle first and then doing the missions is the harder option because there's no real indication for how much there is in the castle, whereas I can just look at the missions and see, oh yeah, I haven't done that yet. Um, so that one is easier to know when you're done, but I still want to try and like do as much as I can in the castle before being confident that it's just the missions left. I can do certain things, like I can look at um, character tokens and be like, well, I suppose actually I can do character tokens and I can do um, student in peril. I can just count how many I haven't gotten from missions. I'm not going to do that on stream though because that's just going to take forever and be very just boring to watch. Is that everyone I can buy? I think so. Um, I also completely got it wrong. It wasn't three streams, or two streams that I'd done on this game. It was three, so I've now done four. So we've done 57% in four streams. Which is like an average of... I don't even know. Calculator. Uh, 57 divided by four. No, not 44. 57 divided by four is 14.25%. So roughly 15% per stream. Which I, I could have figured out if I, again, if I just used my brain, but you know. Why would I do that? Let's switch to 
while we're here, let's just do the dorms. So I'll get a Ravenclaw, I'll get um, Lucius, and I'll get Griphook. So we've kind of got like every character we might need. I guess the only thing then is strength. But normally there's strength potions around and it's not a very common thing. I think it's more likely that we'll be encountered or we will encounter something that requires a goblin or dark magic. I can't even remember. I think we may well have finished the Ravenclaw dorm if I'm being honest. But I want to go back in anyway. Ravenclaw... Let's play as... Oh, that's Slytherin. What am I doing? Do I not have Ravenclaw boy and Ravenclaw girl? Honestly. Let's just... Oh, I've got Ravenclaw boy. And there's Ravenclaw girl. And Prefect. Oh, they're all in one, I see. Let's play as plentifully clear water. Ooh, what's this way? Nothing interesting. This is quite like a um, cool looking dorm area. There's no um, like arrows anywhere. So I think we've pretty much finished in here. Just flick down here. Make sure there's nothing left in here. No, I think we're good. I think we're all good for a Ravenclaw dorm. I do need to find the character token detector so I can, like, confidently go into a room and be like, yeah, I found everything in here. I don't know if there's a gold brick detector as well because, like, you know, that might be nice to have. How many more red bricks do we have to get? Nine left. So I suppose we might as well make that the focus for now is finding red bricks. Because they're going to be like the, the most important thing to making the game kind of easier. There's that red brick uh, that we need a grip, grip hook for. So we'll go and do that in a minute. Let's use Cedric. Why not? Bring him back from the dead. Nothing in here. I'm just ignoring the mandrake. Oh. Huh? That's new, I think. Or is it? Nice. Get us a cheeky little gold brick. Oh. What is going on in here? Why why are we moaning? Please be quiet. Lucius, kill him. Oh, I can't kill these guys. Kill her, though. These two must have some sort of importance. Where am I getting a mandrake from? my brain but I saw him this stream let's get some EMFs on block out the noise of the girls moaning in the background come here you little shit break all the glass 
Just make sure that it doesn't have any kind of importance. I don't think there's any up there. There's some over here, though. I think it's mostly just to open this door. But, break the glass just in case. Plant it. Yeah, there are some real sussy noises. It's these two in the background. I think I, th I think they're broken, if I'm being honest. Oh, hello. What's that? Oh, it's a radio. I'm giving it copyright strikes. Hufflepuff girl. Love it when this game gives me copyright strikes. It's fine. I've never had, like, a Lego game cause me actual problems from, um, what do you call it? Copyright strikes. It's just been like, yeah, your video has been stri like, striked. But, it's okay. Because you're allowed to have these strikes. It's a weird, it's a weird one. I'm just breaking all these plants, hoping that that is what I need to do for this red brick. It was. Character token detector. Come on, be nice. For fuck's sake. I thought it normally just gives you all the useless shite ones. Oh, they're making you work for them. Fine. I'm leaving. I'm also just going to run away from the girls making noise. Now, the question is, can Lucius get into Slytherin? I don't think he can. Why would he be able to? That's a stupid question. So, I need to go switch to Dumbledore. I should have just picked Dumbledore to begin with, because then I wouldn't have to do the potion three times. I could have just gone into all the fucking dormitories with Dumbledore. There he is. I want to try with Lucius, though. I want to try with him first and just see if it works. Since I killed the people here, they've not returned. And I think I might have actually, like, finished him off. Or hopefully, when I, if I reload the game, they come back or something. Oh, wait, I don't need to reopen it because it's already open. Okay. Fair enough, then. Is there anything else in here? Other than more copyrighted music? You know what? About about enough of you two. Mm, no, I think I've done everything. I've murdered my son. Yep. Yeah. That looks to be everything in here. Oh, they've de they've, just, they've stayed dead as well. Cool. Let's go back to Potion's room and finish what we started. Try not to murder any more students on the way as well. No, you're not annoying. She is, though. Oh, I can still hear her even after death. Wait, no, wrong way. My camera's really off today. There we go. It's a bit better. There you go. Got a bit of light in here. Where was it? It was this way. Oh, I've got to do it all again. Oh, you... Wait, do you count? No, you do. Good, good. No, I, I thought he'd just, like, hold it and take it with him. I didn't think he was going to drop it. So there's that there. And then there's a gold brick there. And then there was something on the far left. There was like a chest, I think. 
So hopefully we get a character. A red brick and um, a gold brick out of this. And hopefully this red brick is character token detector. Because I didn't read what you actually had to do for the character token detector. I just read grip hook or goblin rather. So I was like, oh, I need grip hook before I can do this. So, and obviously we needed him for this, so maybe it's this one. I can hope. Drop it. Good boy. Plop it in the keyhole. Oh, and then I've got to build something. Do I have to? Can I not just... Do this? Wait, no, I've got, I can do that better. If I change it round... And do it over here. Then I can do that. That. And that. And then if I target the middle one, I want this one. Okay, that's not going to work. Oh, I fucked it now. I need to take this bit off. And that bit off. Because if I do... That. I can then just do... That, which is enough. Not enough. Shit. Fine. I stand corrected. If I'd just done it the easy way and not try to like maximize it so I could get um, both sides in one build, I'd have finished it by now. Okay, it's not character soap detector, but it's something that's not useless, so I'll take it. That I might be able to reach. Yeah, just about. Go brick. Oh, we need to go do all the um the bonus missions in Gringotts as well. And we got Professor Snape. Nice. That does make sense, to be fair, because this is his classroom, so Okay, anything I haven't done. Well, there's all the stuff at the uh, up the stairs that I haven't double checked to make sure. Like I've done all that yet. But we'll do. Oh wait, I just came from here. I might do that now. We'll go into the the Gryffindor common room, and then we'll just go up the stairs step by step and check things. Dumbledore. I'm fairly confident that I've done everything up the stairs. In fact, I'm so confident. No, I'm not, because there might have been something in Dumbledore's office that needed dark magic. I don't remember. I didn't think that was. How confident am I in that? Oh, there was a there was a red brick in here the whole time, and it was that simple to get. It's going to be the world's shittiest red brick. Watch, it's just going to be some absolutely awful crap. 
Full rescue. Okay. I can't think of a single level where that would have been useful. Maybe the Hogwarts, uh, the Quidditch level. Maybe. Okay, fuck it. Let's just go check. Make sure I've got everything on the stairs. I'll just jump over. Oh, shit. What's in there? I didn't remember. I haven't got Hermione at the moment for her cat, so I'm just gonna have to leave it for now. I think I've done all this and I'm... is this the yeah, yeah, I've done all that. It's old news that one. I wonder if I can cast Um the murder spell, what's it called? Ah, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, I can't murder him. Good to know. I assume not, because, you know, that it kind of... I'd be a bit stuck if I killed him, but... Worth a try, nonetheless. Anything. Nope. Wasted journey. And then you can't go any further, okay, can you? No. No, 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 no. Bong. Is it the toilets? Is that what that door is? That you need the animal is? Because if so, I'm not, I'm gonna go change Grip Hook into Hermione via the dorm. Um, because I think it might be the toilet behind that door, which I was definitely stuff I haven't done in there. Welcome back, Hermione. I need your pussy. I mean your, your cat. I haven't made that joke a thousand times already. Send out the feline. Seriously? I did all that for nothing because that door is nothing. Fuck me, I guess. Oh wait, this isn't a shooty potion, uh, shooty picture. This is a wavy p uh, picture. Oh. Okay. What else is in here? Let's go through this door. This takes me to the Great Hall. Uh, I can't really remember. If there's anything special I haven't done. Well, there's a character. Witch White. Not to be confused with Witch Yellow. Nothing interesting there. Alright, into the Great Hall. I don't remember actually ever coming into the Great Hall. I must not have done, because if I had, I'd have um, freed that student already. Student in peril, and it overruled the character, so I have no idea who I unlocked. Oh shit. What's in here? It is it red for a red brick? Oh, there is a red brick in here. And another character. Colin Creevy. It's Colin. It's the photographer that got... Oh. Right. Yeah, Colin Creevy. Photographer that got 
bitch slapped by the basilisk. Character studs. Not useless. Well, no, it is now useless. I have no need for it because I've got all the money that I will ever need. Yes, we can just check these torches, make sure they're not uh, like one of four type thing. Nope. I may have missed something in there. In fact, I've almost definitely missed something in there. But I'll go back to it in the future as a silver. Nice. I don't remember what's up these says. Is this the toilet? Or the bathrooms, rather. Yes. Okay, that's actually not too bad because that means... Like, that we have Hermione because... That means we can do the thing with the... The wall that might not even require Hermione because I couldn't figure it out last time. So I really don't know. Maybe it requires a goblet because they're small. This, I, I don't know what you're meant to do with this. Wow. Oh. I'll certainly take the money. I think there's some problems with the audio today because... Oh! What are you doing over there? I need you. That's what we do. I see. Enough then. Can't argue with that, really. Okay, I'm fairly confident that I've now. Oh. Aha. About to say, I'm confident that I've done everything in here. Maybe I shouldn't be so hasty. That's not a thing. And then the two banners, the other two banners are up the top. And that's the Polyjuice Potion as well. Oh, and it gave us a student. I must have done a fair, like, pretty much all of the students in Hogwarts now. Because we have... How many left? We have 23 students left, and there were... 16 levels. Okay, never mind. I wasn't as close to being done as I thought I was. Anything interesting in here? Something over there which I can't reach. I did everything in here, didn't I? Oh no, I didn't. What is this indicating? No, I remember now. I, I couldn't figure out how to get up there for the Mandrake. Or how to get up there for the dark magic. Oh, 
Oh. Funky. Pretty sure I wasn't supposed to be able to do that. Oi! Everything's just spawning. Oh, wait. I've got it. That's how we're meant to get up here. Which gave us wizard in red. Not to be confused with the wizard in white that we've already got. If I get the earmuffs, I can then go get the mandrake, but I don't need the mandrake right now because there's nothing I can do with the mandrake, is there? Can I use this to, like, launch myself? Nope. The mandrake is just saving the student. Which, I mean, I'm all for saving students, but... There doesn't seem to be a way up there. Unless maybe I can... Oh, I've just pushed them through the world. This isn't the most easily controlled device. Or, not even device, a uh, vehicle. It's fine. I thought maybe I could, like, pick up the books and take them back to the front and make something out of them. That doesn't seem to be the solution either. Just put it there. I have absolutely no idea how to get up there. So I can't seem to hit that bird either. So we'll leave that for now and come back to it. But I don't know what the yellow arrows mean either. Blue is... I don't have any other detectors, do I? No. It's blue for the crest. And red for a red brick. So I don't know. This brings us out here. Use Reducto on... Just use it on a fucking lot, please. I swear. Anything? Oh. Mm -hmm. Madam Pintz. Is that... The librarian. Because it looks like the character we just saw walking around the library. And then this is going to be. Oh, that's the rest of the ones that we saw in the hall. So let me do these then, because that'd be number eight. Number nine. Finally solved that and got us Doris Crockford, who I have no idea who that is. See, earlier in the series I said, oh yeah, once we've, like, gotten times and stuff, it'll speed up the series. Completely forgetting that it doesn't. Because once you've got them, like, in this, you have the open world is the majority of the percentages. So even though we've now finished the story and gotten all, pretty much all the extras, like, we only have another five red bricks left to get. One of which is fucking character co token detector. Um, oh, hello.
but oh shit yeah so even though we've got all the stuff that should be making it easier it's not being made easier because we still have to like find everything in the open world let's launch these I don't know if these what these get us but hey they both give us characters one of them is Cedric that was Cedric, wasn't it? Yeah, Lake Task. Nice. And then the other one is Fleur, maybe? Nope. Oh, it's Victor Crumb. So it was the other person from the task. Can I go in Hagrid's house? Is that a part of the free road? No. I think I've done everything near Hagrid's house. Just see if there's anything free play to do down here. I think I did pretty much everything when I went down here for the lake task, didn't I? Ooh. Really? You bait me with a silver object. Are you, like... Do stuff with it, use magic on it, do all that shit, and then it doesn't even give me anything. I was really hoping it'd like push him in. No, I don't think there's anything of much use down here. Other than this fucking little mole thing, which I still don't know what it does. Oh wait, maybe we have to hit it like a certain amount of times and then it gives us something. I'd say it just feels like I'm chasing it around, like, random location. No, I, yeah. But, I know this game is... I don't know, it feels too... old to have the kind of function for... like, something to go into a random location, especially like that, because it just it felt like it, it felt like it was going to predetermined places. So if they were predetermined, and if they were random places that felt like predetermined, that would be quite impressive for this game. I was going to have like a spinner, like I do with the spiders in the Aragog level. Aragog, Aragon, I can't remember. To the Quidditch pitch area, like near it. I like this method of just going to places and clearing them out and making sure that I've gotten everything. It's working surprisingly well. Of course, I would still quite like um, carriage token detector, so I can definitely make sure that I've got everything. Where haven't I gone yet? We haven't gone... I don't know, actually. I'm just going to have to walk around for a bit and hope I find somewhere I haven't been yet. We still have five red bricks left to get, and I don't remember ever seeing, like, a... I don't remember seeing owls that I haven't done before. So there must be areas that I've not explored. Right, have I been this direction? I'm fairly certain I've been this direction. Yes, this is to the dorms. The main one is to the main hall, there. 
So we're going all the way off to the left now. And this takes us to here. Alright, I haven't been this way. And this takes us to these classrooms. Which I thought I'd done everything in here. Mm, okay. Oh, wait. Fuck's sake. I need a goblin. Where's the closest polyjuice potion? Probably back this way. And then once we've done all that, I don't think I've been to the the room on the right of the room we were just in. We did, we've been to potions and we've done the two charms rooms. But I've not been to like the area out on the right. So we'll go explore that. Hopefully, there'll be a um, a red brick underneath this. Ooh. Ooh. Funky looking area. Alright, switch back to you. Oh, you colossal pain in the arse. Has it gone? There. Go back this way. Okay, I think it must have gone to the other side. Just do everything, make sure that there's no, like, quantity quests. That's probably not what they're called, but that's what I'm going to call them. Why are you meant to go? Oh, you just do that. Shit, 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 shit. Dumbl- Ah, oh, fuck it. It's his, um... Oh. They're all Voldemort. Yeah, I forgot. I was like, oh, that's cool that the goblin is Voldemort, because, like, everyone's scared of Voldemort. But it's kind of... I forgot it was just everyone's, um... Boggart. This dude's a little bit faster. These guys are both a little bit fast. We'll go through and do whatever's in here, and then we'll worry about getting parcel tongue. Alright, I swear to god, if feckin' Lucius Malfoy can't speak parcel tongue, and I have to go find Harry feckin' Potter, I'm gonna cry. You motherfucker. Dumbledore. Ah, uh, for fucking fix, fix, fucking. Why is that not working? Okay. It's just weird that, um... I need to get Harry Potter now and redo all of this. But it's just weird that I can't do anything with that. But well, I'm also going to go back through here. First. Because there's this guy. The one thing. But also this little shit. The little mole thing that's going to give me a character. How's it going to come out there? Hmm. 
Where's the mole gone? He's just fucked off. He's like fully just decided, no, can't be bothered, mate. Okay. here somewhere nope I don't know them oh I need Harry Potter and the only way out is to go back or to go in back into this room And then just double checked it. It's still not working. Nope, still not working. Weird. Out we go. I need to go get Harry so he can speak parcel tongue. This is why I don't like the polyjuice potion kind of method, because I now have to go out all the way back round. It's like just more effort than it needs to be. Whereas in the later games, we have the whole switching characters. Um, it's just holding down triangle, which is much better. Back in here. Hopefully it doesn't require grip hook again. Fuck's sake. Nope, definitely can't switch to doing that. Shame. I want to know which game that was introduced in. I, like, I can't remember which one it is. Because after this is Lego Clone Star Wars The Clone Wars. And I'm pretty certain it's in that. So it may well be the Clone Wars game. Where that was first introduced. I'm not sure we're going to do the whole, like, 12.5% thing today, because we've only gained 3% since we started streaming an hour ago. Okay. But once we finish going around the castle, this is going to be, the, like, the longest bit, is going around the castle and finding everything. Has that mole respawned? No. No idea where he's gotten to then. Oh. My neck's starting to ache. Right, Harry. Be useful. Well, that was quick. It's a good job I kept Lucius Malfoy in it, because if I'd gotten rid of him and then needed dark magic, I would have cried. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, it's a miracle. <laughs> right, we're gonna I'm just gonna go buy that now. Good 
be a buy character token detector, buy times 10, buy characters that I've gone. Hope it puts me up a bit, because only having done 3% is very disheartening. Nearly 4% now. Flitwick, Professor Snape, Madam Pince, Colin Creevy, I know there were more, we got Hufflepuff girl didn't we, Cedric, oh yeah we got Victor Crumb as well, there's Hufflepuff girl, Molly Weasley, don't you remember getting her? She must have been the, the one I got in um, the Great Hall. I forgot, or didn't notice. Doris Crockford, Wizard Red, Wizard White. See, this one's weird because you can literally unlock every character you see in the game. Which is just kind of odd. I, uh, I locks Owl and Borium. So we've got Character Circle Detector, Full Rescue, Character Studs, Fast Magic, Christmas, Score Times 10. And how much has that increased by? We were at 60.8 and now we're at 61.8. Oh Christ, we've gone up by like 3%. So we have actually managed to do about 6% now. Only 6% more and we'll make the target. Alright, let's just turn everything on except Christmas because I don't want that on. We don't need regenerate hearts on, but it's on anyway. Character token detector is now on. So I can now easily see where characters are. Which is going to be amazing. Back to Hogwarts. Where's it going to put us though? In here. That's actually quite useful because now that we have character token detector on, I want to go out here and see whether it's got an arrow to anything out here. It doesn't. So the mole has disappeared, but there's no character token to get from it. Okay. Hermione is nowhere to be found. Ah, oh, no, shit. Oh, okay. I thought I was about to, like, all the AI were about to just throw themselves off the edge. <sighs> what a little close. Alright. Does this work? Yeah. No, there must be a reason that doesn't work. But no, it's not being like shown to be anything. Like, there's no character token arrow on it or anything like that. So I'm just gonna double check. I have a short character token detector on because it'd be really dumb if I didn't. I do. Okay, so I'm just gonna assume it's nothing. Oh, that went really weird for a second. Like all the audio just stopped and it was like dead quiet. I thought the game was about to crash. Anything in here? I think that's indicating that there's something down here. Oh, it's dark magic, isn't it? Bollocks. Throw me out. I'm gonna get my dream team back of... Um... <laughs> Grip Hook? Grip Hook? Is that his name? Grip Hook, Lucius, and. I don't know actually. Who else do I normally have? Dumbledore, but he's not particularly useful, is he? Maybe. Maybe I'll keep. Harry then, on the off chance that I need. 
parcel time. I also want to see if Snape has dark magic. I think he should because he's... No, he doesn't. Yeah, I mean, I think he should because he's a Death Eater, but I suppose we don't know that by this point in the story. Like, years to one to four, you wouldn't know. So I guess I can see why he's not. And then we'll just go back to the second of Flitwick's classrooms. Or are these the Charms classrooms and the ones up the top of the Defense Against the Dark Arts classrooms? That would make sense. So I'm going to assume that's the case. So this is a Charms classroom. So we go down here. And we go and get this. Oh, this is one of the red bricks that I didn't get before. I remember now. So this is um, number 17. So we've only got three left after this. There's nothing I really want out of red bricks anymore. Extra hearts, great. That's kind of useless because I've got invincibility, but I'll take it. And then we'll head off. I guess we have to kind of now reinspect everything, make sure there's. I've not missed a character anywhere. We'll also have to go round. Oh, there might be a gold brick detector, actually. That would be quite useful. Because I'm sure I've missed some gold bricks somewhere. Oh, I haven't been in this classroom yet, have I? Let's do this one. Oh, this is McGonagall's classroom, isn't it? This is the kind of... Not very important classroom, because we've already done it. And then there's this room, but we've already gotten everything in here as well, I think. Yeah. Alright, back we go. And then... I'm going to head off down here. I'm going to run to the toilet real quick. I'll be back in one moment. Oh, that was the wrong button. I'm back. Um, there is a cat in my bedroom somewhere. I watched her walk in. Uh, I might have to go and let her out in a minute, depending on where she decides to go. Now, there's not really anything out here, is there? There's up there, which I think is... Ooh. Oh, of course. So these will be two character tokens, because they're white. Professor Trelawney. This is divination, isn't it? I think that's what it's called. And Hermione in the blue top. Cool. So we have actually finished in here now. And then... Oh, I can't even get over there. How do I... Is that not... Oh, wait. I go over the wall. 
And then there's this area. Of course. I completely forgot about this place. So we've got dark magic here. To get us a broom. I'm sure we need for some reason. Maybe there's something in the sky. Okay. Oh yeah, and then we've also got the area. Like the, um... What you call it? Oh, I can't think. The, like, um, herbology class. I need, where's the mandrake? Because I couldn't hear it screaming. Five. I think there is one back here. And I don't know what the one next to, the, uh, like above the, whatever you call it, the big spinny, or big rocky, the pendulum. There we go. I don't know what that up there is, whether that's just saying go in here to get a character or something like that. Three. Four, there we go. And five. A well, Hufflepuff boy. Four. Oh. Fantastic. Glad to have you, mate. Now I've got to make the trek back over here and put Screamy back in his fucking thing. In you go. Can I do anything? Where did I leave the broom? Because maybe I need the broom. Oh, okay. Hey, gold brick. Anything special in there? Oh, this area that I'd also completely forgotten about. Jesus Christ. We got Slytherin Prefect. What I always wanted. I'm literally your dad. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. It's a fun little feature that um, Draco gets turned into a mouse by uh, Mad Eye Moody. And then McGonagall comes out. I like that. That's funny. Oh, and he just. Throw his money at you as well. Even better. So this is going to end up taking us to an area that I've not ever even been to before. The Owlery. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was going to be a... Characters with a time turner. Oh, so I need her. Because that's the Hermione there that has the time turner.
So that's, yeah, Hermione, that Hermione has the time turner. So I presume if I... I should do something with the egg. There we go. This is quite cool. Just needs to fucking hole in the building. Jesus. Don't build a radio, thank god for that. It's like I can't be doing with any more music. Oh, and there's a fucking... So you think I said that for the irony, but I, I honestly didn't notice it when I came up. Fine. Just play the disc. Alright, play the other one then. How do I get the character token out of it? I just have to let it run its course, maybe? Well, uh, I don't know. The cat wants to leave. The cat clearly detected another cat outside the door. Because she was sat at the door, and there was another cat also sat at the door. And now there's a cat at my feet. I really don't know. What? What do you want? Why are you headbutting me? I can't give you attention right now. I'm 100%ing. Google, because I don't want, I can't be asked to come back to the Owlery. I suppose I need to anyway to get, oh, I suppose I can, no, because there's no um, polyjuice potion here. Phonogram, is that what it's called? No, what's a phonogram? It's not, it's not even a thing. It's a music thing from... And did it come out in the 40s? What are they called? Um, I know what they're called as well. On a um, gramophone. Oh yes, gramophone. Right, Lego Harry Potter Owlery gramophone. What the fuck do I do with it? There are three records you need to play token. One should be out in the open. One is trying to do do do, and one in the drawer. So I need to get another token. Or another record, sorry, from the drawers. Oh, I see. There we go. Cho Chang. Alright, go back down. I've got to remember to come back here once I've got the time turner. There was one, another place I remember seeing I needed a time turner, wasn't there? I don't remember where it was. <laughs> it's the statue. Not actually the picture, sorry. He's fallen off, so he's now in the ground. So I need to remember to come back here. 
at some point to do that. But right now, I'm going to explore where I didn't explore a moment ago. Can you go off to the left here? Is it either way take you to where I was? No, it takes you off to the same place. So let's go... I thought that would have been a really good place to put a red brick. But it's just my opinion. There are character tokens in here. Apparently. Is that the way out? Oh. It's a new area. Character Fleur de Delacour. There we go. So that's. I don't know how to get over there, though. Who knows, we'll go in here for now. There's still a red brick, so there's another area I can get to. Was <laughs> Professor Sprout, drummer. I thought that, I thought it was quite literally just going to be man. Of course, Professor Sprout. I think it's Sprout. It's a Hufflepuff. I don't know how to get over or up. I don't like that. Break everything. Come here, you little shit. Two. Is it just breakables? Yeah, it's just glass items. It's not like a specific type of glass item. The one up there has not actually got any glass on it. I don't know if it's just a texture glitch, but it's just water. Hopefully it can still be broken. It can. And I presume that would be Professor Sprout. Yep. Oh, does she, like, always have earmuffs equipped? Because that's quite cool. Is there, like, a specific place to put this thing down? Nope, just going to pop it there, then. Okay, I don't know how... No, leave him alone. I don't know how to get to... wherever that red brick is. Because there's another red brick. But the arrow is... Directing me in here, but I can't. I can get in here. Okay, fine. I'll just. <laughs> Straight knocked himself out. Jesus. Strength potion. Come on. There's the owl for the red brick. So at least we've solved that mystery. Oh, I see. Ooh. 
we need to get strong to let the, the student out. Where's the flower? You'd think in a herbology classroom you'd never be far away from the flower. There it is. So we let the student in peril out, and then we gotta put all the mandrakes in the pot up the top to get the uh, red brick. But I don't know how to get up there, because surely you can't climb with a mandrake in your hand. I imagine this is gonna build us some stairs. Yeah. I'm also aiming to get that like 4 billion that's been the max in some other games. Stop eating my certificate. This cat has an obsession with eating everything it shouldn't. Plastic bags. Plastic bags. Um, like sandwich packets. So like when you go to only people in the UK will get this. Well, I don't know if you have them in other countries, but I'm fairly certain they're not really a thing in the US. But if you go to, like, Tesco's or something like that, and you buy a sandwich in the little cardboard box with the kind of film, he loves the film. Um, like, glossy paper. But he never actually eats it. He just bites it. He, like, chews it and licks it. Uh, and I, I honestly... I don't know why. I've Googled it a lot. Because, you know, I was worried it might be a dental problem. But most things are just suggesting that he's just a fucking weirdo and has habits. Something to do with hunting. I love him, but he's a pain in the ass. I'll be, like, asleep and, all, and I just suddenly hear this rustling and he's on the floor chewing a plastic bag from Tesco's. Or we'll start... No, don't... Put, put him in the fucking pot. This better be a useful red brick because mandrakes are one of my least favourite things to deal with in this game. Because you walk slower with them and you just have to listen to them screeching the entire time. Gold brick sector. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, at least, it, you know, now I don't. Now that I've dealt with the mandrakes, I don't have to deal with them properly anymore. Thank God for that. Is that all the character tokens and everything from in here? Yep. Yeah. It's all sorted now. Nope, not that way. How do I get out? There. Well, we have 20 more student in peril. Which is slightly concerning because... Um... There's only 16 levels, and I definitely got the student in peril from a couple of those levels. So I'm going to have to figure out who I've missed. We also still have two more. I'm going to go and buy the Hermione Time Turner character. Um, might as well get the red bricks while we're here as well. Because then we can go back and do the last thing in the Owlery. And then I think the time turner, the other time turner thing was in the um, clock tower, wasn't it? Like the top of the clock tower. Because I went in there quite a while ago. No, wait. I need to actually buy it. Extra hearts. Singing mandrakes. Might as well turn singing mandrake on. See, you know, see what it sounds like. Where are we at now? 65.1. So we've nearly done 10. So if we reach like 5% more... Then we will 
that that's our goal for this um this stream. I don't think it's gonna happen because we've only got about fifteen more minutes before I wanna finish up because I wanna go to the gym tonight. Um so that's not a whole lot of time to gain an extra like five percent when we've managed to gain only managed to gain like seven ish from an entire or nearly a two hour stream. At least I'm learning my way around the castle now. Hermione, I'm going to turn you into other Hermione. Better Hermione with uh, a funny watch. Can we go around here? Uh, nope, not that one. Nope, not that one either. There she is. I assume this is the one with the time turner because it's the outfit she wears with the time turner in the movie, so it would make sense. Figure out what the time turner actually does in this. Well, I imagine it does much the same as other things, but... Or, like, it, you know, much the same as what we'd expect. Oh. This is quite funky. Do I need to clear up the stains with this? I do. Barty Crouch Senior. Not David Tennant, the other one. You're welcome, mate. Student in peril. I, I was gonna say it's just undone all my work. Little shits. I assume. that leaving this room will cause it to, like, the time turner to stop. Like, up here is, we can go up here and that's fine, but leaving the owlery will turn it back to normal time, because otherwise that kind of changes everything. I mean, I've, I've got to go back through the entirety of Hogwarts and retest what else I can do. Well, that's another red brick, at least. I really hope there is a gold brick detector. I'm not so bothered about student imperil detector, though that would be quite nice. But gold brick detector would be even more useful, because they're going to be... The yes, thank God. Because they're going to be a real bitch to find. Uh, and then it's just... Oh, shit. It's just completely not even here. Even in the past, he wasn't safe from sneezing. I wonder... I'm sure that if you did this... It wouldn't prevent you from being able to do that. In the, like, surely it wouldn't. That wouldn't make any sense. Um, but let's go back down. Head up to the clock tower and see if... That I was right. See if that is the area with the time turner. Ooh, shit. It's all still the same. No, he changes back here. Okay. I thought it was... I was like, damn, that's an interesting mechanic. 
I was like, that would kind of explain why there's only two time turners that I've seen. Because then you like you just have those two locations which you can do it from. Yes. Oh, it just straight up gives us a character. The Milkman. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. Potion, hat, star, moon. Yeah. Uh, Madam Rosmerta. Whatever that is. Okay, that's to get the other characters up here. Um, I think there might be everything in here, though. It's a shame. I was kind of hoping this would be where our last red brick was, because I have no idea where it is. Which one are we missing? Red brick 10. Okay, I'm gonna we're gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna look on the wiki and see if I can figure out where Redbrook Ten is. Lego Harry Potter one to four Red Brick Ten in the Quidditch Arena. Arena? Why did I say it like that? In the Quidditch Arena. Go there with Hermione. Choose our cat. Stick up the clock. It's right there when you enter the area. Oh, another time turn. Of course. I remember now. I wonder if normal Hermione has a time turn. I don't think she does. I might change one of these two young men into Hermione, like normal Hermione, to test whether she does have, uh, regular Hermione does have the time turner. Because if she does, I'm going to feel really, really dumb for going and buying the new Hermione and then, like, putting in all the effort to transform into her when I could have just not. Yeah, get fucked, mate. Get flippendoed. Oi! Not very nice. And then we'll finish off this stream, once we've done this, by going and buying the red bricks, double checking we've got all the characters that we've unlocked. Um, let me just switch to you. Let's find out. And getting all of those spells that I haven't already got. Oh, for fuck's sake. She does as well. What a waste of effort. Oh, I haven't got anyone who can cast Patronus, do I? Oh, thank god, there's a potion here. Let me switch to Lucius. Sure, he's missed me. He can't. I'm not allowed him. Okay, well, I'll go to Harry because I know he's got the Patronus. Back off. Hermione, I require some pussy. Your pussy. Your cat. There we go. I don't really know what I'm doing, if I'm being honest. I'm just kind of... Oh, 
Well, that didn't work. Is that a student in peril? It was as well. That's funky. I wonder if I... Oh, I just shoot it and it melts off. I get it. Just make sure. Alright, more digging. It's all sunny now. Get Streamlabs, Streamlabs back up so I can see you. So I don't really get what you're meant to do over at the side. Like, there. There doesn't seem to be much I can do with the chisel. It's not really doing anything. George! Okay, it's slowly doing something. There we go. And this is the last one. I do kind of hope it's student in peril because that will just make life a little bit easier. I'm not entirely sure what else it could be. Like, I can't think of anything obvious that we haven't already got. But it might not be Student in Peril. It's Stud Magnet. Of course it's Stud Magnet. Okay, that's a little bit of a shame because Student in Peril Detector would have been kind of helpful. But it, like, out of all the detectors that I was like, oh yeah, that'd be nice. It's the one that would is, was kind of least important to me. So, I'm going to leave that and go to the... The Leaky Cauldron. I want to check how many students we've actually saved so far, so I know how many more to look for. One, two, three. Four, five, ooh, just five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's 11, and I miscounted earlier, because I thought there were 16 levels, there's not, there's 24 levels. So we've got 18 left, and we've saved 11, so that means there's 13 left in levels. So there's five more student in peril around the school that I need to go find. So at some point, um, I think I've, I've comfortably kind of exhausted looking around the the school, like the free roam area. So next stream, we're going to start playing um, free play on levels, go back and redoing the levels to get all that, and then that way we can see how many gold bricks and everything that we haven't already gotten. I would say we'll start that now, but it's just turned 8, and I want to get to the gym for about 8.30, and it's a half an hour-ish drive. So I need to go grab a protein bar, get changed, and go. But I'm going to buy these characters first because I do want to try and get as close as possible to that 12 and a half mark. There's a lot of characters we hadn't bought. Having the character token detector is very useful because there were things that I just wouldn't have like tried before. Um, so it is nice to have that. And that does put us at 95 of 167 characters. And we still have like shit tons to get uh, in free play because there was three to every level so that's like three times six times four which is uh, 24 times three 
Wait, I didn't get... I missed one. 20, 3 times 24 is 48 plus 24, so 72. That's 72 more characters to get just from that. We have 67 plus 5, which is 72. Exactly, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think they all come from that, because... Um, oh, this is going to take forever. Rick to Sempra. Because we have already got a grip book, and I'm pretty sure I've got like one or two more characters. But that hopefully means there's only like one or like at most like five more characters to find around Hogwarts. Um, I might just count that quickly now. Just to double check. I swear I'm not delaying going to the gym. I do want to get there as early as possible because I want to go tomorrow morning as well. Like, before people get up and they're like, oh, I'm going to go to the gym in the morning, which usually people fill up the gym like 8 a.m. So I try to get there for like 6 in the morning. And it's just a nice way to start out my day and know that I'm going to be, like, productive. I probably won't be productive at all, but I like to tell myself I will because I'm like, oh, I've gotten up. I've done something useful with my day in the morning. So now I, the rest of my day is going to be good because I'll be home and it'll be like half 7 in the morning and I'm already awake and ready to do shit with my day. And then it'll hit 8 p.m. and I'm like, fuck, I'm so tired because I've been up since fucking half five in the morning. But that's fine. I probably won't even get up at half five in the morning. I'll tell myself to do it and I'll be like, nah, too fucking tired. In fact, I almost definitely won't because if I don't get to the gym until like, let's say quarter to nine at this rate. Um, then I'm going to finish at the gym at like nearly 11 and then I'll be home by nearly 12 so I don't be getting like half, half, five and a half hours sleep so yeah that's not happening I'm glad we've figured that out together and that's all those spells which means that's everything I wanted to buy. So let's just have a quick look. We were on 57 before we started. And we're now on 68. So we've done about 11%. Which is not quite the amount I wanted to have done. I wanted to have done 12 and a half. But it's fairly close. Like, I'm not gonna... We've done. We've managed to do 11% of what I would call like one of the most difficult parts of the game. Because there's nothing we can really do quickly and efficiently. Whereas when we get to the levels, the level will just like smash them out and it'll be easy. Let's have a look. So we've got all three of them. Uh, so that's three, four. So it's four there. Five, six, seven, eight. Shit, there's so many more than I thought. Oh yeah, we've got loads here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen characters. So there's still 16 more to find around Hogwarts. So yeah, next stream we will start on these. I think we can probably manage to get two years done at least in two hours. Um, and then we'll do, we'll finish that off in how many streams it takes. And then we'll head back to Hogwarts. And probably use the map that I found a couple of streams ago to have a look around and find things.